Okay, this is a video which serves as a cheat sheet on how I remember to do um, live sampling of loops on the Octatrack. For this um, example, I'm going to take audio in from a Digitac and Digitone, which is off screen. It's coming in through input AB. It's in order to get the um, audio through the Octatrack, I put it into a through machine, which I have on track five. The important setting on the through machine is that I am taking the audio in from in AB, A plus B is stereo. Now, in order to do the sampling of the um, audio on track five, I use a flex machine. This is on track seven, and it's important that we have a recording buffer set up for that. And naturally I have a recording buffer seven configured for this one. Um, going into the source setup, uh, these are the settings that I use for the, the manual um, sampling that I do. They seem to work for me, so I'm not suggesting you change them, but these current settings work for me. Now we go into the recording setup, which is important. And there are three pages that we need to go through. So we, so for the example that I'm going to show, I'm not going to use a recording trig to trigger the sampling. I'm going to show a manual method. Therefore, the setup is different to other things that you may see on YouTube. So I press function record one to go into the first menu. In AB is disabled in CD is also disabled because I'm taking the audio for sampling to come in through track five, which is set up in SRC three. The recording length is 16 steps. That is important. Now, if I press function record two, I go into the second setup menu. I'm doing quantized recording and it is of again, 16 steps. Okay. Um, for the flex machine, it's important, I find, that the pattern length is also set to 16 as well. Right, so we're all ready to um, do sampling. So I'm gonna press play. The audio is gonna come in through the through machine. And then if I want to sample this into track seven, let me bring up the audio editor. So I go to track seven, bring up the audio editor, and I press record three. So here you can see the sample taking place. And as you can see, it's sampled at a quantize. So let me just press it again. So it starts sampling from the first step. Okay. So before I show what I've played back, I just want to explain the settings that I have for the scene. So I use, I make use of the scene so I can transition to the loop that I've just recorded and then go back to the live playback. So if I press, if I press A, you can see the, um, the settings that we have for audio. So this is for track seven. So basically, in scene A, the volume is minus 64, basically it's off. In scene B, it's set to zero. Similarly, when I go to track five, in scene A, the volume is zero. In scene B, the volume is minus 64, i.e. I'm basically muting the, silencing the volume on track five. So let's see what that sounds like. So this audio should be coming back from the live playback into track five. If I do function track five, I mute it. So you can see that the audio is coming through here. Now, if I move over to here, hopefully the audio would have been seamless. And if I disable track five, you can see that the audio is coming through track seven. And again, Okay, so let's re-enable track five. Let me put on, embellish the, um, the loop. So now I wanna do another sample. I go into the audio editor, I press record three.
There you go.